Okay, this is the Laticrete 4237 one-step method for installation of glass tile from the technical data sheet number 145 mixed with Laticrete 1500 sanded grout. color we're using today is chocolate truffle. It's all mixed up and it's pretty thick. It's slaked for 10 minutes, then remixed again. And we're going to be putting these little glass ribbon tiles up into this three inch stripe in the shower and beating them in and all that. They're extremely thin so they're going to bleed through. So this is why we're using the one step method. I've uh, constructed the uh, Franken Goose Industries patented little eighth inch deep trowel that super glued a couple of Raimondi wedges on there and uh, that's going to go in and set the bed at you know, a good depth there to embed the things in. And I uh, want to say thank you to Henry Rothberg of Laticrete International and my local Laticrete rep, Frank McManus, uh, for helping me out with this. And uh, I've never done this before, so this could be a, a train wreck in the making. So, uh, so you get to sit back and enjoy it, and I get to sweat it out and see what's going to happen. Um, also worried about whether or not this uh, yummy chocolate brown grout is going to stain the white grout any place it gets on it, and I don't know, so we'll have to see. Uh, if I have to do a little grout repairs tomorrow on the white stuff, well then I do. That's uh, the price of fame. So we're key, key the mortar. And the mortar, the mortar, the grout, to the substrate, and get a good bond coat in there. And I'm getting over halfway across this first wall. And now we'll put some stuff in there to make the bed. And let's see how this works. Okay, it seems to be uh, panning out quite well. Need some more stuff in there, but as you can't see, because you don't have a close-up right now, I've got a very flat, even bed through there. uniform, virtually no voids. You've got that little ridge on the edge there with spacers hanging up. Uh, depth properly. And now we're going to take a little bit of stuff and we'll put it on the back of the piece. Thickest, most viscous 
latex additive I've ever had the pleasure of uh, mixing. It's very uh, gelatinous. Uh, it's a little funny getting it mixed up because it just wasn't like normal liquid admix speed. 1776 that I use um, all the time with the regular standard grout, although I've pretty much switched over to the per new permacolor grout at this point, and it's a great product. I'm really happy with it. And uh, But, I see there's still a use for the standard grout because the permacolor is not made to go with this. Very specifically it says on the instructions, do not use the permacolor with 4237. There is such a thing, I guess, as too much stickiness. And